Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is our morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the International Monetary Fund has downgraded its forecast for the global economy. It now sees the global economy contracting 1.3% in 2009. Its previous forecast was for 0.5% growth. Now this is the first contraction in global output since World War II. Meanwhile, in London, Gordon Brown has delivered the UK budget. Well, Alistair Darling, his Chancellor of the Exchequer. And the numbers are shocking. The debt that will have to be issued by Britain is equivalent to 12.4% of GDP. It's £175 billion. They're also forecasting, the UK government, forecasting a big contraction in GDP, 3.5% or so. They do see a rebound in UK growth in 2010, but the debt will keep rising to 2016, and government debt as a proportion of GDP will double to 79%. Also, the tax rate, the top tax rate in Britain, has been hiked from 40% to 50%, much higher than expected. Now, the pound has weakened and against the New Zealand dollar, we're up to 38 pence. What does it mean for us? Well, maybe not so many cashed up expats coming back to buy property in New Zealand. And yesterday, Bill English confirmed what he told us three or four weeks ago, that there's a $50 billion hole in, in the economy in terms of less output. That means taxes will fall. That means the tax cuts we were expecting in 2010 and 2011 are likely to be delayed. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB.